It's called uh, Coral Dish, although I don't mind some kind of calling Coral Dish, which has been kind of attributed to. It seems to work both, both, both ways. It came out of the idea that you kind of, if you kind of, sometimes that you just want to kind of contain on a table, you just want to contain something. Um, but you don't actually need to hold it up and offer it like a, like a dish. A dish off offers, a bowl holds, and this kind of corrals instead of, in, instead of, instead of that. I was teaching on the Harrow Studio Pottery course, which is quite a traditional kind of uh, throwing course. I was really interested in teaching on, on, on this course. It was, about, it was about function, but I kind of I was I was really kind of questioning the functionality of kind of from where. And then then head of the department had a had a kind of had a term for um, uh, some of the products that came out of this call, and he used to call them a bish, which was a cross between a bowl and a dish. They did, basically, they, did, they, they were confused. And I think that was in the back of, back of my mind. So sometimes you want to put a, a banana and a bunch of keys and just keep them in one place. Um, so that was the kind of a functioning reason about that. But once I started making it, it became a kind of uh, a landscape. I grew up in... In, in Cumbria, and kind of, I, as, as, a, as a teenager, I did a lot of climbing. I did a lot of kind of rock climbing. Um, so that's kind of probably a kind of an influence. These scalloped kind of pieces, which are very kind of like, they're, they're like the frilly ends of kind of Victoriana, kind of like that, um, uh, uh, the, the way you'd cover the piano's legs. Uh, that's the way I would descri descri describe it. But kind of, um, it's a frill. It's constructed out of bits, so it's a bit like a kind of, uh, like a, a, a toy kit. If this is kind of uh, obviously very he heavily textured. In, in my studio, I'd have a kind of a series of slabs of plaster with this texture on which a clay was then pressed on, 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 onto. And the textures came from vari various kind of um, sources. Um, this one is kind of crumpled up baker foil, kind of, um, and then cast in, 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 in plaster. There was another one that I kind of used, which was tripe, which was kind of really kind of beautiful, very kind of beautiful. The glazes are kind of comple comple uh, simple but complex. Complex in the way that they would be kind of uh, one glaze is, is placed over another glaze. And it's similar to kind of the effect of glazing in, in painting, but you kind of paint, paint kind of um, tinted glazes one over, one over the other. They, they, they fire and they melt in, and sometimes they, they kind of technically it's called a nucleation, I think, and it kind of they separate out, and they get, if the glaze becomes the texture itself. Um, so there's probably kind of three or four glazes on this, and it would be fired quite a few times as well, kind of um, to get the kind of uh, to build up that kind of glaze glaze colour. Someone once said that I understood artificial light, which was kind of a nice, a, a nice compliment. And I kind of see these in artificial light. I'm not, and this is a kind of, this is a part of the, um, I suppose, a reaction to kind of the, um, uh, the leech kind of movement of naturalism of glaze, glazes kind of looking natural. Um, I just don't kind of get it.